Welcome back to Norfolk Perspectives. And the hurrah players are in the house, which means there's a peach in the house. Her peach Hugh, where, where's the peach? It's a peach of a show. It's the East Coast premiere of the peach. James and the Giant Peach, we're the first group to do it on the East Coast. The show's not going to be released until July, but we do the, uh, the March premiere. All right, now, okay, now, how do you pull that off? To be the premier. Well, you, you meet uh, the writer of the book, uh, J uh, Timothy McDonald. We meet him at a conference. He sees our work, and he asks us if we'd be interested in doing the premiere of, one of a new show he's working on. Uh, we heard the music, read the script, and we're just delighted to be able to do it. Okay. And he'll be here in attendance. Cre on March? March 11th, 12th, and 13th. At the Roper Theater. TCC Roper Center. Now, tickets are going fast, I understand, tickets right? Tickets are going fast because it is such a great show. The guys that wrote the music wrote the Broadway score to Christmas Story. They were nominated for a Tony. They wrote all the music for Smash, the TV show. So they're the up-and-coming team to watch as far as music. Music's fabulous. The book is great. And it's at the Roper, and it's priced for everybody in the family. So it's a show you don't want to miss. You know, that's what I love about having you on the show, Hugh. I don't have to say you got to sell tickets now. You, you start right off with selling tickets. You're right. Now, here's the big question. Yes. Which one's the peach? The peach is the whole essence Where is of the, the peach? show. Where on the sofa sort of <laughs> simulates <laughs> a I mean, it's peach. a little peach? It's a little peach. So and how can you build a story around a little peach? Because if you've it? read the book, you know that a magic potion spills... James is supposed to drink so it. So he's James. He's not. James. He's going to drink it. Point to it. James, guys. James. Okay, that's he's James. He's supposed to drink it, but the potion falls on the ground. All the little bugs and insects drink it, plus the peach tree drinks it, and the peach. <laughs> you want to do that again? <laughs> yeah, the peach grows to 16 feet, live on stage, a 16-foot peach. So are you back there? <laughs> not really. How do you get it to blow up? <laughs> It's, it's, you gotta it's be there. stage magic. Right? Okay, so who's, who's surrounding you? Well, we you always come with an entourage, but this is such a good looking right. group. Right, don't, you see me coming, you know I'm not gonna be alone. We have a grasshopper, we have an earthworm, we have a ladybug, we have a centipede, we have the spider, and James, when he And first, then this is James. James meets these creatures and he goes, but what are you? Because they're not little anymore, they're human size, because they drink the potion. But now, did you cast little guys too? Yes, we, before they become human sized, they are little insects. So rather than using puppets, as was suggested in the script, we have our junior company, the Babes on Broadway kids. So instead of having little puppet insects, we have little kid insects. And we have a lot of adults in the show also. You know, you're making perfect sense, which is really scaring me. Yeah, I see. And why, who are the bad guys in the show? The Let me get him. No, these are great insects. Oh, they're good people. Yes, the two aunts. The aunts are awful. They make Miss Hannigan and Annie look like saints, but these women are awful. And I'm glad you didn't bring them. So they're with the peach? No. No. They're home trying to make money off the peach. They oh. are greedy women. They're, oh, people are paid to consume this baby. But they've all got to get away from these evil women. But now, do these guys become small again? <laughs> no. They all live happily lives, happily ever after. And and as a peach. big ladybug. And the peach as a big ladybug. And all these insects are learn to love each other. So the peach doesn't the get eaten. The centipede is a grump, but he learns. Well, I was going to talk yeah. to you about him. But he learns to be um, loving and kind also. Do they dance? Of course. It's big dance numbers. Lisa Wallace has okay. done such a great job choreographing. Do they sing? They, yes. Jamel Dean has choreographed this show. I mean, uh, musically directed the show. And... The music is fabulous. One of the reasons people love this show, and it's going to be such a big hit, is the music. You know what? It's time. You've sold tickets. Yoo-hoo. You've introduced them. Yes. You, whatever that was. The peach growing. And now they're going to sing. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Catch them singing. Awesome stuff. There's nothing to do now but enjoy the adventure. Tally-ho and away we go. Just catch this tune and sing it with me. We'll set our sails for nothing but sea. No place where we gotta be so good. We're tumbling off where nobody's been. How true it adventures always begin. Take a ride on the tide, bob and high, dip in low. No 
direction. But math is never better than drifting off without a plan. All we need is a song. At the intersection where ocean meets the sky. We're all gonna die. Follow me, float along. Floating along. Floating along. La la la. La la la. Floating along. Fix a rudder, and we'll be across the English Channel in no time at all. This beach will never make it to France. Who knows what monsters we're gonna meet? A ten-ton drag with fangs on its feet. A hairy scrump with a scary scream. <laughs> we may wake up a slumbering scrunch. Who could get mad and eat me for once? We do, we'll be through, we'll be working. And I've left all my flags at home. Well, take my extra bloomers. They'll do in a pinch. Extra bloomers? A lady always carries extra bloomers. And away we